Hello viewers of Biotechnica, welcome back again to an other wonderful video. Today's video is about Germany, so I'm going to talk about how you can become a scientist or a researcher in Germany. So I'm going to talk about some of the companies which are well reputed, some of the research institutes, some of the job search engines that are very specifically for scientists and as well as for the researchers, everything in detail in one video. So let's talk about the complete topic for first let's talk about why I have to choose a Germany. Is Germany good to become a scientist? Yes. So wherever we talk in case of a scientist, we know scientist position is always going to be a noble profession. But taking in Germany, is it good enough to become a scientist? I'm going to tell you yes. But why? Let's see it. So we know that German universities or most of the top European countries for biotech institutions and companies are located in Germany. When we talk in case of European countries, Germany stands ahead head out of all the countries when it comes to technology. Everybody would agree to this point. The next one is we had almost Germany is going to have 202 research facilities in Germany. So that is actually an amazing thing that Germany is going to have a greater advantage of becoming a scientist. Okay, yes, you have decided to become a scientist. Now, what are the protocols that you have to remember? So, where you can apply, how you can actually become a scientist in Germany. So, I'm going to talk about the steps that you have to follow either in India so that you fetch a job or a scientist position in Germany. So, first important thing, as you already know, it's going to be your bachelor's degree. You have to have your bachelor's degree in life sciences. In any of the field, I have listed some of the field for your understanding. Like you can be in your molecular biology or biochemistry biotechnology or any of the equivalent it can be anything bioinformatics or it can be anything masters in life sciences it can be of anything and phd and definitely a postdoc position so if you have a phd in specific field then definitely you can go for and if you have a postdoctoral position or phd in germany it's going to be very very good enough suppose if you do not have an opportunity to do phd in germany then you can take up a postdoctoral position in germany it's very very good enough that you get a postdoctoral position in Germany. It's really, really easy enough to get a postdoctoral position when we compare it with a PhD position in Germany because when we talk in case of PhD position acquiring in Germany is kind of tedious but postdoctoral position if you have networking and if you know your uh, collaboration with any other people over there it's very very easy enough to get a postdoctoral position so advantage to become a scientist is either pursuing your masters in Germany if not then either doing a PhD in Germany if not at least you have to have your postdoctoral position in Germany this is one of the advantage suppose if you're going to ask me a question I've not done PhD or postdoc or masters in Germany can I get an opportunity to become a scientist in Germany of course if you're going to have your skill if you're going to have a very good research project that you have done and if you're going to have some fellowship or if you've been an awardee of a prestigious fellowship all around the world or if you have very good uh, skills in research techniques or you have a very good knowledge when you're going to attend an interview, then definitely the probability of becoming a scientist in the Germany is feasible. Now let's talk about how you can approach and how you can become a scientist in Germany. This is the most important path. So first is going and applying through the job sites. I'm going to list out some of the job site engines for special for all of you or you can be getting hired by a company through company sites if you go and look in for Rocha if you go and look in for Thermo Fisher, if you go and look in for many of the companies like Johnson Johnson's, there would be a, a notification which will be coming like there's a, a call for a principal scientist or research scientist position which will be keep coming. So what you have to do is go to the career site and start applying for the scientist position. The best way I would suggest is always networking. This is the most easiest way of acquiring a job even after your PhD or even after your postdoctoral position. In any part of the world, you can acquire scientists in Germany. This works through people or through recommendations or uh, through connections with LinkedIn. If you're going to have a connections with LinkedIn, then definitely you can be hired in the company. So how you can do is you can contact some of the research scientists in a specific company of your interest. Then talk to the respective person and you can ask them, is there any vacancy over there? And accordingly, you can get hired by them also. And you can approach the HR manager of a very specific company or research institute or research group or team leaders and you can approach them and then you can become a scientist also. 
The next important thing I'm going to tell you is if suppose you are doing your PhD, you can take up an internship position in a company or in a research institute. And then through the internship position, if you're going to prove yourself, the company will be hiring you as an employee also. So these are some of the approaches that you have to do in order to be hired as a scientist in Germany. I'm going to list out some of the tips for you to what are the things that you have to follow in order to be hired as a scientist over there. So you can take up some of the certification programs. Suppose if you're from India, if you think like or if you're from different part of the world, if you think like I need to learn a bit more, then you can take up some of the certification courses before going over there. Uh, technologically, if you're going to be strong, then it is always good enough. So learn some uh, bioinformatics tools that are very important. So I've listed some of the things that you can learn. So certification biotechnology, of course, if you are from biotechnology, you don't have to go for biotechnology. If you want to enter into some industries, then you need to know industrial uh, technology and biomins and microsystems. If you want to learn this, you can go in for certification. And if you would like to enter into bacterial genomes or uh, genomics, then you have to go in for certification bacterial genomics accessing the microbial genome data using Artemix so you can take a screenshot if you wanted to know about it and what are the application of interotomics using genomics and proteomics which means suppose if you are unaware of it please don't learn those techniques before being hired over there even though you might be a PhD grad graduate or postdoctoral fellow these knowledge is really really important and if you wanted to go in for some immunological techniques then definitely antibody and their roles in therapeutics gene editing technique this is really important very important I made it in a bold specially CRISPR zinc finger is very very, very important and if anybody wanted to go and learn about system biology then definitely you can learn all this thing uh, patenting and biotechnology if you'd like to go in for uh, biotech companies then you can have a patenting and biotechnology courses and genome and the human condition so these are some of the skills that you need to have uh, when you are going to apply for any scientist position apart from the technical skills that usually everybody does so I'm not listing out some PCR or some other techniques which we usually normally know so that's not important but these are the techniques like omics technology are very very important CRISPR is important NGS is very important and how to prepare for this position yes of course you're starting off with a degree and complete some kind of internship if you're unaware of certain techniques uh, through a company internship or some research and institutions and gain experience and have a practical experience like molecular biology technique so I've listed some of the techniques like PCR, cloning techniques, sequencing like NGS, gene synthesis, all this thing and experiments in optimization of enzymatic reaction. When you're going in for a company very specifically, you have to deal with enzymes. So it's really good enough that you learn how to optimize the enzymatic reaction. Of course, one of the analytical techniques like HPLC, MAS or UV. So all these things are really, really important. So gain some experience and remain updated because since you're trying in for a different country you should always be updated what are the position that keeps coming what is the current scenario that's happening in a specific company or if you would like to take up a research scientist position in an institute how do they actually hire those people what are the eligibility criteria that they ask for all these things you need to know and the last is seek out for new opportunity in the field of your interest. Suppose you would like to become, uh, enter into a field of oncology or becoming a principal scientist or research scientist, you can approach companies or you can go for the research institutions also. So look out for the opportunity in the specific fields. Okay, so I'm going to talk about the research engines first and then we'll talk about the rest of the things. So first let me talk about uh, the research engines uh, which is the job search engines. So this is really a great help for all of you. I, I would suggest all of you to take a screenshot. This is for a job position. Very specifically I have listed it for research scientist position. If you want to look for then you can go to this website and you can just type in research scientist in Germany. Then you will get all the opportunity over there. So the first is going to be URES portal. Uh, so this is a European commission. So where you will find all the research scientist positions or every job uh, profiles, not our scientists, everything in the entire European Union, you will actually can see it. So Germany comes under this. So this is the site for this one. So you can definitely uh, go and check in over. And this is another uh, where the 
other site that you can go for. So this is the link for it. So if anybody wanted to go for a PhD position or postdoctoral or scientist position, then you can look for uh, this site also. The next is going to be European Jobs Days website. This is an amazing website where you find jobs in the complete Europe. So definitely you will find in Germany also. So you can look on for the research scientist or principal scientist opportunity here also. The next is research in Germany. This is not only for scientist position, even PhD postdoctoral position also you can go and check in over. This is the research in Germany site where you can go and check. Of course, DART, which is German Academic Exchange Service. So you can go to this website. This is very predominantly note for PhD positions and postdoctoral position, but you can also see some research position coming on the line. So you can also check for scientist positions here. And of course, science careers. Science careers is a very nice site where you can go and check for so you can go to this site because like uh, very specifically when we have to talk about Germany uh, science careers will have all the positions available in the entire world so you can choose very specifically Germany so I have uh, written the site for Germany so that you will get all the things over there the next is life science network so you can also go to this site and look in for the jobs in Germany. You will find the scientist position available here also. Of course, as I already told you, LinkedIn is the best way to connect with people and get some job opportunities. Suppose if you have completed your PhD or postdoctoral position, then definitely you can look in for some of the scientists who are working in a research institute or in a company and you can approach them uh, telling that you are really interested in that and you get connected with the people and then you can be hired very easily also. Without networking, it would be kind of tedious. So always have a networking with people who are already working over there. The next one is company sites. If you want to go for a very specific company, go to the company site and look in for careers page so that uh, you will find what are the job opportunities that are available for all of you. And so this is about the job search engine. Very, very important. Now let's talk about the research centers that you can go in for. So you can also become a research scientist in either of these institutes because these are the institutes which very very specifically hire scientists so there are institutes which hires professors but i'm telling your academic position here i'm talking about scientists so i've listed according to according to that embl and then Helmholtz Zentrum uh, München German Research Center and Maximilian University of Munich and then DK uh, Zentrum you can go for Evotech International of course Boringer's in Helm and Robert Koch Institute uh, GCRC which is German Cancer Research Center also you can become a scientist Max Planck Institute is for different different departments they have so I've listed for some of them you can look in for all the Max Planck Institutes so this is Max Planck Institute of Biochemistry and German Center for Neurogenerative Diseases, which is in association with Helmholtz Association and Technical University of Munich. Some of the universities I've listed here. And if anybody wanted to go for a scientist position in plant biotechnology or plant genetics, then you can look for this institute also. And next one is Helmholtz Center for Infection Research. If you have done your PhD or postdoctoral position in infectious biology, then you can go for this. Then University of Freiburg's. So if anybody is looking for a scientist position in Germany after PhD or postdoc, you can go to the job search engine and look for the opportunity or you can go to the research center and look for the opportunity or you can go for the top company sites. I'm going to list out some of the top recruiters in Germany for scientists very specifically. So Johnson & Johnson hires scientists. After PhD also, P. Fisher, Thermo Fisher, Rocher and GSK. AstraZeneca and Teva Pharmaceuticals, Abvi, Merck, Sanofi. Abvi, uh, Te Teva Pharmaceutical is in US, so it, uh, we will not list out that. The rest of the things we can say top recruiters in Germany. So you can go to the website and look for the eligibility criteria. Sometimes they ask for PhD with experience or postdoctoral with experience. Accordingly, you can look in for and you can get an opportunity over there also. The next is going to be salary prospects. Yes, how much does a scientist in Germany is going to get. Yes, that's very, very important. So I'm going to list out all the things together from the pay scale. If you're going to be a research scientist biotechnology in Germany, you will get 54,000 uh, euros. And research scientist, if you're going to become uh, 53 euros. And research associate, then 44 euros. Senior research scientist, almost 65,000 uh, euros you can get. This is an average range. And biotechnology is 40,000 US euros. 
Post doctoral, if you're going to enter, almost 50. Principal scientist is 80. So principal scientist is the one who gets maximum. This is just an average range. It is actually more than this is an average range of a scientist in Germany. So this is about the salary prospects. And what are the skills that are required? to become a scientist in Germany. Of course, it's applicable for the entire world, but I'm going to list out some of the things. Understanding of research methods. Yes, this is really important when you're going in for a company or for a research institute and having a biotechnology concept. Since you want to become a biotech scientist, you need to have a biotech concepts very, very well known. Critical thinking skills, of course, analytical abilities and knowledge of research equipment. Yes, some uh, analytical techniques, you need to know molecular biology techniques, bioinformatics techniques and uh, problem solving abilities. Since you deal with the research, you need to have this thing and attention to even small details. That's very important. And of course, communication skills also matters a lot. So this is all you have to follow in order to become a scientist in Germany. Very specifically, I'm going to tell you, it, they, there's no demarcations like uh, this is how it works. So there there are a lot of ways that you can actually become a scientist in Germany uh, based on the connections that you're going to have with people or even after completing a PhD or postdoctoral position in Germany also. The best way I would suggest is after your PhD or postdoctoral position, if you have done in Germany, it's very good enough to take up some of the opportunity from the company by attending conferences, workshops and talking to the HRs of the specific company in getting hired. Or if you have done your PhD or postdoc out of the country or if you have done like India and you wanted to go to Germany, that it's always good enough that you look for some of the aluminers or some of the reputed uh, scientists who are working in a company or research institute and approach them and you can go there as a scientist or you can go there as an intern or as a research scientist or researcher in certain period of time. And then you can find a scientist position over there also. The best thing is looking for the job sites and approaching people and getting connected with them is the most important criteria for obtaining a position as a scientist in Germany. So this is all about how to become a biotech scientist in Germany. So I believe that this video is helpful for all of you. So what do you think about this video? If you have any questions regarding this, you're always welcome to put your questions in the comment section and we're ready to answer your questions or we'll come up with making a video on that. So thank you all of you for joining. I'm going to meet you back again with another video.